let's start by taking a look at the main menu. Within the main menu, you're going to see what's essentially is a legend that's tied to each one of the three reporting categories at the bottom of this spreadsheet. Um, we'll start from um, the very top when it says 22, 2022 courses. If you notice, that's going to be connected to this tab. When we look at departmental codes here and here, Again, you're going to see that come up on this um, first tab, your, your courses tab. Same thing with course code types. Okay, so all of your, your kind of top header information is going to all tie back to your courses. When you scroll down and look at teacher analysis, everything in this section is going to connect to the columns here. And then finally, when you're ready to look at your departmental pitfalls, those are going to be connected to to this third tab. And so essentially what you'll do is as you're getting or preparing to um, complete your report, you wanna take some time to go over um, each one of these tab descriptions or column descriptions to make sure you have a thorough understanding of what's being asked. Um, additionally, if it has a hyperlink, like if there's hyperlink text, then there also will, we will also include a um, Skyward click sheet to support you in creating the right report to get the information you need. And so sometimes that same um, click sheet will come up more than once. And that's our way of letting you know, hey, if you've made this record, report, it'll take care of this column, this column, this column, and this column. So one report could potentially take care of um, four different um, items on your list here. Same thing with teacher analysis. If there's a hyperlink, then there's some type of click sheet or tutorial to support you in the creation of your content. Okay, so that's generally the structure of this page. Um, often you're gonna find that when we look at departmental codes, these are the general departments that um, are structured on the campuses. But when we look at the actual courses that are in our uh, Skyward account, um, there are sometimes multiple course names that are tied to the same department. So for example, business education and computer science, those are both found in our CTE courses. And so we've highlighted them with the same color to signal that those are CTE courses. Same thing with social studies, economics and um, or free, uh, free enterprise and social studies. Those are two separate course titles in our, or have, separate department codes, but we know them to be social studies. So we are color coding based on the departments that you're familiar with on your campus, but just recognize that you're going to have more than one um, uh, uh, type of course tied to a specific department. Um, also, SPED courses. When we talk about SPED, they actually, you won't find them here, but you will find them in a column called course type codes. It's a V and it's usually tied to modified curriculum. So those will be all of your special education courses um, that are essentially written that way. And then the last part are these other resources. So if you would like, you could take a look at the master schedule. You can take a look at the class counts that have been made available. Those are some other resources if you, you'd like to pull information from there.